maybe it's a little bit late, but uh, here it comes. What's in my camera bag 2023? Jenna, I'm not in and welcome to another video. First timer, go and subscribe to the channel. So, it's that time of the year when I show what's in my camera bag or at least how I pack it for different occasions. First off, I have three bags. Why you ask? I don't know. For some reason, I have three. But when I go on longer trips, I go with this one, the Think Tank. Because it fits my laptop, that's why. And when I go for a photo shoot, I use this one, SP Tech. Because it fits most of my gear, and if I'm bringing two cameras, they both fit in here. Speaking of cameras, I almost always bring two camera bodies. My G9 for photos, and the GH5 for videos. The G9 goes in the main slot, and for the most part, I just grab the GH5 in my hand, just so I can film with it at all times. I've been trying to bring less gear with me these days, and therefore, I'm pretty much always packing my G9 with the Canon 24 to 70. But if I know I'm going on a photo shoot, the 30 and 56 millimeter Sigma lenses is going as well. I also have a 19 millimeter lens, but that's mainly stuck to my GH5. But I'm looking to switch it to a more logging lens. Maybe a 12 will do the trick. Because the GH5 is a microphone third, the 19 millimeter lens is equal to 30, 35 millimeter. And to film myself, I like to have a lens with a bigger field of view. If you have any tips on a new lens with a huge field of view, that fits on a microphone third, write that down in the comments. I used to have a red mic, but no longer. Lately, I've been trying to pick up sounds more distance to the camera and have a more ambient sound to everything I do and everything I film outside. And therefore, I decided to invest myself in Sarmonic Blink 500 with a transmitter. It helps me to get a little bit further away from the camera and it gives better sound quality as well. Except for when I'm in the studio. It's a small room, but there's pretty much nothing on the walls behind the camera. So the echoing in the room is terrible. So when I go on adventures, um, pretty much always packing my drone. Uh, at the moment, I'm flying a DJI Mini 2. The reason for that is I don't have a license and the DJI Mini 2 is just so easy to lift up and go. Great quality, it's 4K, so I don't see a problem with it. The only downside of the DJI Mini, I can't make it follow me. So it's a little bit tough when I'm by myself and try to like film a car or film something moving. Walking like this, it doesn't look good. I am looking to get a better one and maybe even a license. But at the moment, the DJI Mini 2 works fine. So before I go into the last thing, I like my new setup here. I only did this setup for this specific shoot, but I kind of like it. it because at the moment, when I'm filming myself, I'm backing up the camera a little bit more, I'm coming closer, I'm isolating the background. It's just, you see this part. It doesn't look like really appealing. So, last but not least, the most important part in my camera bag, I always make sure to pack at least one or two of these and keep it in the bag at all times. And that's dextrose. The most important part for me. I always make sure to have yeah. one or two packs in the bag. So I never need to worry about not having. If it comes with me everywhere anyway, there's always, I always have it packed in, in the bag just in case my glucose drops. That's what's my camera bag 2023. Do you pack anything special in your bag? Let me know in the comments. As long as it's not illegal, it's fine. So please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you in the next video. Hold on. I can't do this, but hold on.